Go yeah, everybody, just been servicing my ute, card up above. Um, this is going to be a video on how to check and adjust your wheel bearings. I've demonstrated on Toyota Land Cruiser 79 series. Obviously you know that if you're following along on my channel. If not, that's what we're working on. Now, reason I'm checking my wheel bearings is, well, I, I need to check them a lot more often because I run NEG 44 rims on my ute. That puts a lot more stress on the bearings. So you need to check them quite often. So I've checked them and I know they've got movement in them. It's only a little bit, but it's enough to make me want to take that movement out of them. So I'll show you how you check your wheel bearing for movement and then I'll show you how you adjust them. Okay, so first you need to jack under your car and just jack it up so the wheel's just off the ground. As you can see there, that's off the ground. Okay, got your wheel jacked up. It's off the ground. What you want to do just make sure you can see what I'm doing. Two hands on the top of the wheel, one foot on the bottom. You want to put pressure on the bottom of the wheel with your foot. And then what you want to do is push on the top of the wheel with your hands. But when you push on the top of the wheel with your hands, you need to release the pressure off the bottom with your foot. So you're doing something sort of like that. It's like you're trying to rock the wheel. By doing this, you'll feel the bearings loose. You'll feel it sort of jolt or a bit of a clunk. Now, this has only got a little bit of movement, so it's you won't be able to see it, I don't think, on the camera. You may see it, but if you're looking really closely, there's a tiny bit of movement in there. So that's enough for one, to make me want to just nip that nut up on there, make sure those bearings are tight. And I'll check if there's any water ingress in the bearing as well. So that's the basic premises of how you check the, if the wheel bearing's loose. Apply this on everything. All wheel, all like bearings on your car, truck, trailers, whatever the hell's got a wheel bearing. That's how you check them. You can do it also with a bar, put in like a hole of your rim and pry on it. And that'll also show you how to check for movement. So what I'll do now is I'll get some tools, rip the cap off the side of the hub there, nip those wheel, uh, the bearing nuts up, take that movement out of them. All right, first step, this is the freewheel hub here. Leave that in the uh, the free position, don't have it locked. Um, then we'll undo the 10 mil bolts around this cap, and pluck that off. Okay, got those nuts undone, so pull this out. There we go. So there's your freewheel lock there. It doesn't look like any water's got in, so that's a good sign. Now, by rights, you should put a new gasket on this, but I haven't got one, so I'm probably going to use three bond or some sort of Elastic, uh, elastic ceiling on it. So next step, pull that hub off there. There's also a, a circle clip in there we'll have to remove as well. So we'll do that too. All right, so using a pair of circle clip pliers, I've just removed the snap ring or circle clip ring that was in the hub. That holds in a couple of washers as well. So I've removed that. You need to remove that so you can get to the nut. So put that aside. Okay, so with that circle clip out that goes around the shaft there, that allows you to undo this part of the hub, pull that off as well. So that's the next thing, undo those 14mm bolts. And they have little collets that go into the hub there. So when you undo those bolts, uh, the nuts, sorry, don't undo them all the way. Leave them on there a couple of threads because you'll probably need to give this a whack with a hammer or something like that to knock the collets out. Got all the nuts and collets out. So now we can pull this section of the hub off. Just like so. There's a that's all lubed up with uh, bearing in there. So that's your freewheeling hub, part of your freewheeling hub as well. That's what locks your uh, hub and shaft together. I'm pretty sure. So I'll square a little bit of fresh grease and grease in there. I'm not going to clean up too much. I'm not really all that fussed about it. She's in pretty good nick. So 
Yeah, and I'll whack a bit of sealing on there as well when I put it back together. All right, so now we should be down to the final section of it. All right, now I'm pretty sure if my memory serves me correctly, there should be two nuts. One's a locking nut and one's actual nut that adjusts to bearing. So I'll just will get all this grease out. Wipe some of that grease out. Now there'll be a little locking plate in there that you bend the tabs over your nuts to stop them coming loose. So you need to bend them back. You just have to find them in the grease, tap them into the middle, and that'll allow you to get that center nut off, or the uh, locking nut off, sorry. So that's what I'll do now. All right, so you need one of these tube sockets, 54 millimeter for Land Cruisers hubs. I think it's the same on patrols as well. Um, this fits the nut for the hub. You can't fit an ordinary socket in there. The walls are too big. You need these thin style ones. So you need to get one of these. And they're also good because they're deep. They go over the axle. So now I can undo that lock nut on the outside. There's the lock nut. Put that aside. Then pull the locking tab off, which is this metal tab here. That's what bends over onto your nut and locks it in there from turning. And now we're down to the actual bearing nut. So this is the one we need to adjust. So we'll put the nut, the socket on and see if it's actually loose. Yeah, I can do that up. What I've done, that's probably an eighth of a turn just there with my hand. So that goes to show how loose it's come out. All right, I pulled the hub nut socket off. I'll just pump a little bit of grease into there with the grease gun. Doesn't hurt, just pump a bit of fresh grease in. I can't bother pulling the wheel, this bearing out. There shouldn't be anything wrong with it. So now we'll put it back together. So I put that hub nut back on. All right, so what I've got done here now is I've done this, do the nut up tight, and then you back it off, and then you just do it firm. Not too tight or the bearing will run hot, and not too loose that the bearing will come loose again. So that should be okay where that is now. So now we do what we did in the original start of the video. We check the bearing for any movement with the foot in your hand, from pressure at the bottom and the top, and then just give it a spin, and that feels pretty good to me. So now we'll just do the reverse and just assemble it all back together as it was before, and then you're laughing. All right, what I've done is I've put the that locking tab back on the hub. I've bent the tabs over over the first hub nut, and I've put the second hub nut on and done that up really tight. You need to have that one up super tight because that sort of holds it all together. So what I'll do now is I'll clean up around there and I can install all the. Uh, locking part of the hub all back all together and I'll put a bit of three bond on as well just to stop any water getting into those inside the hub. All right I've got this hub back on three bonded that on just got to put the circlet back on this axle shaft now so you need to make sure that doesn't get pushed in because they can get pushed in like that which I've just done now now, now. <clears throat> now I'm going to get a bolt to get it out you put a bolt in that hole there thread it in and you can pull it out and that allows you to get the groove for the circlet out so I'll do that now. All right, I have put the surf map on, packed that full of grease. So now what I need to do is put some three bond on that surface there, slip that on, and then that'll be finished. So I'll put a bit of three bond on there, do that up, and then we'll be right to rock and roll. All right, got that hub and wheel back together. So 
So that's all ready to rock and roll. Did the other side as well. So that's finished. So that's pretty much how you do. Check your wheel bearings for looseness. And that's how you adjust wheel bearings on a Land Cruiser. Same principles apply to trucks and cars, other trucks, other cars. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next one.